Don't move your head, okay? Hey YouTube fam, in today's episode, I'll be sharing with you my experience visiting a local eye clinic in the sugarcane fields of Frome, Westmoreland, where I was not only able to witness several life-changing eye surgeries by the good folks at Mission of Sight, but also learn a tremendous amount about eye care and the importance of getting eye exams, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. If this is your first time visiting the channel, a special welcome to you. My name is Winthrop Wellington, and here on my channel, we explore Jamaica together and I share my marathon journey around the world. Today's video is actually a throwback. I documented my visit to the professional eye care clinic two years ago, back in February 2019. This team of people do incredible work that is just amazing. I can't big them up enough, but I don't wanna to give too much away. This episode does hit home for me as there was a lot of emphasis on the importance of getting yearly eye exams for the purposes of early detection of glaucoma. What is crazy is that even though I captured this two years ago, and I captured all this important information and all this important advice, I didn't listen. And so recently I was actually diagnosed with glaucoma. The irony, right? Can't, I, I couldn't believe it myself. But this is actually part of the reason why I was inspired to edit and release this video now at this time. I don't wanna get into all that just now. I will talk more about the offhand fashion in which I was tested and ultimately diagnosed with disease. And ultimately what this means for me and my vision at the end of the video. But for now, please enjoy surgery day at the Professional Eye Care Clinic in Frome, Westmoreland. See, today is a little bit different episode. It's actually really, really special. We are here in Frome in Westmoreland and we're at the Professional Eye Care Clinic uh, where Mission of Sight is based. And we're actually gonna be seeing some glaucoma and cataract surgeries that they do. This organization is an amazing organization. They do eye care and eye clinics for Jamaican people all over the island. They come to this facility, which is literally in the middle of the cane fields in Westmoreland. And it's headed by Dr. Doug McCloy, who is doing literally the Lord's work. Like it's amazing what he's doing. It's amazing the amount of people that he's helping. Today, we're gonna to be giving you a bit of a tour of the facility, but I thought it would be a great treat for you guys to see exactly what they're doing, not just hearing me talk about the great work that they're doing, but all, seeing the, the people that and lives that they're affecting and also seeing the surgeons and the nurses and the people who are giving their time and their energy putting towards this to change people's lives. And literally people are walking in here today and they can't see and they're walking out and tomorrow they can see. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope that you check out Professional Eye Care. I hope you check out Mission of Sight, and especially the Jamaicans that are watching this. There is a lot of great messages in this about eye care and the importance of eye care and making sure you get your yearly checkup. So let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Again, they're doing great work and I'm more than happy to showcase what they're doing. See you guys soon. So usually in the mornings when we come, we, we, we do have devotions and we would um, just give God praise for the things that are happening and we would go from devotion to the removal of the patches and that you can see um, on, our, on our Facebook or, or Instagram page where you see persons removing the patches after surgery getting so excited about what if they are able to see now especially the persons who are fully blind and now they are able to see so that is such a great feeling it's an absolute pleasure to see persons life change not only their life has been changed but also the lives of the people who take care of them so I'm going to give you a walk through now of our surgery center and what's going on and um, um, it's very exciting so come with me right, right here we have persons who have completed surgery and their covers are, or head covers and their feet covers are removed. They will have to keep their patch on over their eyes for at least overnight. They come back tomorrow morning and we will remove the patch from their eyes. These no persons are waiting okay. to get in. They have already been dilated. They have their hats on. They have their name tags on. 
so that doctors can call them my name. And you may wonder what are their names on upside it down, which is very weird. So what happens is when they're lying down on that bed, the doctor is able to read their name and they can have a conversation with them. Alright, so we have Mr. Augustus and we have this Brittany Salmon and we make sure that we know our people because relationship a big deal in Mission of Sight. It's absolutely important that we know our people, that they feel comfortable, and they know that we have their backs. Yes? Oh, all right, so we have some persons in here. Say hi, Dr. McCoy. Hey, Dr. McCoy. <laughs> well, he's very obedient, obviously. Hey, Julie Dyer. Hey, Dr. McCoy. All right, so this is the man behind all of this Mission of Sight. Um, Dr. McClory and his wife, Ms. Mrs. Rhonda McClory, had this vision and uh, we're so happy that we're able to make it happen for the people who are in Jamaica and even people who are overseas who want this to happen for them. The joy of the Lord is just in this place. The great part about this is all these people who need help are getting help and there is a great need for help. What do you have to say, Doc? We've been doing this for four years now. We see over 600 patients a year yes. for just cataract surgery. Now glaucoma, that's the thief. Oh. So we call the glaucoma the silent thief of your vision because you don't know that you have glaucoma. You would never know you have glaucoma because glaucoma doesn't pain your eyes. It doesn't, um, you don't sit down and you don't know you have it. The only way you can know you have glaucoma is if you go to the eye doctor, we do some specific tests like measure the pressure in the eye. Just like we have blood pressure. Yeah. If your blood pressure is up, you feel that. Yeah. But if your eye pressure is up, you don't feel it but the damage still gets done to the nerve in the back of the eye so it's very critical that we do examinations yes. to determine glaucoma so when i can say to you now you see say with glaucoma you don't feel nothing we call it the silent teeth when time glaucoma they come you don't know it they come because it does take time take time take time until it take away your vision we always say every single year, go along a doctor, go along a eye doctor every year, but then to see you do a full eye exam. So when you know, you can manage. When you don't know, you just have to sit down until one day, you realize about we. Me can't sit to the left and me can't sit to the right. I just the center the same thing that me see. The tiny glaucoma come in for you, they now creep up for you like a thief in the night and thief your vision. Unfortunately, about glaucoma, and I like to where you can do take out the lens and replace. Once that the damage they do, the only thing we can do they know and we try to stop it which part it is. We can go back and try to get back the vision. So now sit down under that story there. Now sit down and then when time you reach to that stage there, you just a run and come a doctor. Go on a doctor every single year, go check out your ear. Make it doctor tell you say you're perfect, you're perfect vision and you're good. And nobody go say, ah, I'm going to check the glasses alone. True. Go on and do a full eye exam. Please, with a proper, proper Do op doctor. An optometrist or ophthalmologist. Good. So make sure you ask for an optometrist. Uh, when you call, say you have an optometrist by your staff or you have an ophthalmologist on your staff. Because a good old refractionist will just do glasses. But those two that I mentioned earlier, those are the ones that are going to check your eyes out for any other eye disease or condition. No sit down and die. Blind no good. You can lose your taste. You can lose your smell, but you don't want to lose your sight, right? Because yeah. you know, no matter no wait till we get to the, the, the stick, the stick, the stick part where you have to wear stick. Yeah, because the glaucoma stick is the worst stick of all. Yeah. Because that one blinds you, yeah. blind blind, and we can't, like, like Jolene said, we can't take it back. No. So anything you lose along the way, even if you lose 50% yeah. or 60%, we can't get that back. No. Gone forever. Cataract, you can lose a full 100%. But we can get 100% back right. if it's just cataract. Right. So right. have to come get eye exams. Must test the eye. And every day we still keep getting double blind patients. Wow. So we know that the that, that we we will maybe we'll net, we're just scraping the tip Absolutely. of the iceberg. Absolutely. But there's so much of it that still needs. So excited about um, the impact we're making. Excited that we actually are now engaging. Um, you know, people from the states yes. and other countries, they're, they're doing direct sponsorships to help fund the, the sustainable fee that we have for surgery. So today was really awesome because we were connecting them on FaceTime yes. and WhatsApp. Yes. And so sponsors are actually getting to see the patients they sponsor. Yes. So that connection, and I heard you say something about relationships. Yes. That's what we're all about. Absolutely. So it's really Absolutely. fun. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Doc. I know you're busy. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending another yeah. few minutes just explaining. So if you have any challenges, be glaucoma, 
won't be cataract or any eye condition that you need help with do not let it get to the stage of being blind in both eyes or even one get help and professional eye care is a place to come so we can help you um you know what let's just do this as a quick public service announcement we have six locations island wide and we are in right now um, two locations in montego bay rose hall and bay west we are also in santa cruz we are in mandeville we're in san Lamar, and we're in fru so if you need help find one of those locations so we can take care of you mission of sight and professional eye care is here for you come with me let's see what's going on down here so we have some persons who are prepped and what we call blocked meaning that we have um, they kind of numb the eyes to make sure that when they get into surgery that they are not feeling any pain that they are comfortable and they're contented we could really just go in and observe um, what a cataract surgery looks like so if you're up to it we're very ready to show you come with me so we're going into a surgery which is uh, what they call a double blind surgery and they're trying to going to try to restore the vision fully Oh, so what's happening with this guy is that he has cataract and he has really bad glaucoma. So they're going to do a cataract removal first and replacement of the lens and then they're going to do the Zen which is to help him with the, with the glaucoma. So it's going to be great. So let's go in and see what's going on. Just know what I'm going to use this as a demonstration. Her cataract was almost, well, not with stick, but the vision. Can you imagine trying to see through? It looks clear, but it's not. So imagine trying to see through a material this color. That with cataract, you can't look to the side or to the left or to the right, to the top or to the bottom to try and look around it because the lens is right in the dead center of your eye. That is what has this color. And so, the only option is to remove it and that's what we just saw just now and a clear lens almost as perfect as your camera lens I thought about maybe even more perfect than your camera lens was replaced in her eyes and now tomorrow morning it will be like a new day for her we have so many of the best creme de la creme surgeons from the US that came here dedicate their time to help the people of Jamaica and we want to say thanks so that's what's happening at the GMC that's, what hap that's what's happening at Professional Eye Care. That's what's happening with Mission of Sight. If you have a heart for this and you know you want to help someone but you're not quite sure how to help, please go on missionofsight.org. You can see all that we do. At the top, there is a donate button. Um, you have some people who are able to come up with some of the money but they can't get to all of it. And I promise you, what we are charging is minimal compared to what's up there. Um, but they just can't get to all of that. If you want to give back, if you want to give back to the people of Jamaica um, to health, to wellness, you can go ahead, you go ahead and donate whatever you have. And I promise you it will be worth your while. Um, thank you. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. More importantly, I hope you learned something that you didn't know prior. On the day, one of the surgeons was explaining to me that Jamaicans have a much higher rate of glaucoma diagnosis than that of the US. I'm not sure why that is, but that's definitely something to make note of if you are Jamaican. Now, how I was diagnosed with glaucoma was definitely happenstance. To start, I probably haven't had an eye exam by an eye doctor since I was probably 10 or 12 years old. Recently, however, I've been taking my father to his monthly ophthalmologist appointments because he has to get these injections to release pressure in his eye. So I've been taking my dad to these eye, these eye appointments and I've always been asking the doctor lots of questions just to better understand my dad's situation. So I ended up learning about a lot about eye healthcare. 
and no disrespect but prior to this i thought glaucoma was like an old person's disease but i what i learned from dr foster my dad's ophthalmologist was that even babies and children can be diagnosed with glaucoma just goes to show you how ignorant i was at the time on this disease on multiple occasions multiple appointments dr foster encouraged me to schedule an eye exam and eventually i did and that's how it was discovered i had early stage glaucoma what does this mean for me right pretty lucky i have to say as it is, I haven't lost any of my vision at this point in time. Currently, there is no cure for glaucoma. All you can do is treat it. So what I have to do is take these eye drops twice a day, pretty much for the rest of my life. Otherwise, I'll go blind. All these drops do is slow down the progression of the disease. I can only hope that at some point during my lifetime that there is a cure. Outside of that, I'll be putting these eye drops in my eyes before I go to sleep and every time I wake up. That's about it. This is definitely not for anyone to feel bad for me. To me, this could have been much, much worse. The disease could have been progressed a lot further along. I actually feel blessed that I was diagnosed at such an early stage and I haven't lost any of my vision at this point. But the main point here is to really use myself as, a, as an example for anybody who might be watching this to just encourage you to get those eye exams by an eye doctor and make it part of your yearly health checkup, especially if you have glaucoma that runs in your family definitely definitely get these eye exams and if you're jamaican as well just because there's a higher rate for whatever reason i'm sure like we all want to see our grandkids right that's just another motivating factor and if even one person goes and gets an exam and is diagnosed because they watch this video it will have definitely served this purpose that's it for me i hope you guys enjoy this one and if you know anybody that could benefit from the information in this video please share it with them it is super super important and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll do my best to answer them if i don't know the answers i'll definitely do my best to find the answers for you again hope you guys enjoy this one and i will see you in the next one peace